Hey girly pop, it's your girl Jasmine Corley. Hi, my name is Jasmine. Nice to meet you. Thank you for clicking on this video. Whatever made you click on this video, I'm appreciative of you. So today, you know, I know you guys have seen all over TikTok, all over YouTube, all over Instagram, these lash extension clusters, like these people, like the girls are doing their own lash extensions at home. Me being the girls, I'm one of the girls. Um, I was a lash extension girly and my, la my lash tech actually moved and then after that I just didn't really go to anybody else. So I started doing the clusters once I start started seeing it pop up on TikTok and I got real good at it. Like I do my lash clusters full time. So today's video is going to be about how to do your lash clusters and I'm show I'm even show you guys how to do it in five seconds. Like how to apply your lash clusters in five seconds. So all you need is a lash kit. So this one is from Vez Beauty. It comes with lash seal, lash bond, tweezers and your clusters and you'll also need a mirror um i have two different kinds of mirrors just because i like to you know really get in there and see it and today's video is actually sponsored by vez beauty i'm going to show you guys how to apply the lash clusters from vez beauty all the instructions on the kit as you can see so in this kit it comes with five lengths um of lashes so basically it'll take you five seconds to apply five lengths of lashes so this one comes with 16 14 12 10 and 8 so it really only takes five seconds to put the lash on your eyes this is a great this is a great set for if you are a beginner because it really is just super simple once you get the hang of it practice does make perfect so yeah let's get into it i'm also going to teach you some tips and tricks that i learned along the way of me just learning how to apply my clusters so yeah these are the tweezers these are nice luxurious tweezers oh my goodness like it's like like a kind of like a matte kind of material it's really nice and then we also have the lash bond and a lash seal so this is what it looks like the actual lashes so this is what they look like so this is the Lux Bold 028 set. Um, yeah, real cute. Though I don't like to apply my lashes with these kind of like angled tweezers. I like these tweezers more for applying the seal. So I'm going to go get the tweezers that I like to use for when it's time for me to plop them clusters in there. So this is my favorite tweezer to use when I'm... Well, this kind of tweezer is my favorite kind of tweezer to use for applying the actual clusters. So this is what I'll be using today. All right, let's get ready. So step one is to definitely apply the bond. What I like to do when I apply the bond is kind of just rather than like brushing it onto my lashes, I rather just like kind of just poke like not the actual lashes, but my lash like like at the base of my lashes like here. Just kind of put put the glue, plop the glue on there because you'll get more out of the glue than just rubbing it on. To your actual lashes and it's a lot easier to apply because it's less sticky when there's too much product it's hard to get the lash to stick if that makes sense so i have my little mirror i'm going to use my little mirror but hopefully you guys can see this we're just going to take the lashes and it'll be a lot easier if you just hold your eye so we're going to take the we're going to take the bond this is the bond side the, the seal side will be clear we'll take the bond and we're just going to Kind of just tap the product into your lashes. Time for the five second part. No more than five seconds for each cluster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a timer for five seconds. I'm going to open up my clusters. The tweezers of choice. I'm going to pull up one. One, this is a 16 mm length. And this is going to go on the outer corner of my eye. And really the trick is you just want to put them in the kind of like the base of your eyelash. Like not in your waterline because then it will irritate your eye. So you want it to be right at the base of your eyelash. Okay, ready? Three, two, go. Done. Woo! And we have like three seconds to spare. Okay, so that first one is on there. 
Let me turn the timer off. <laughs> And that took, that took about two seconds to just put on my eye. So that's crazy. Now we're going to go up to 14 because we want like a cat eye look. Ready? Another another five seconds. Ready? Three, two, go. Done. Five seconds. Going. Next length is going to be 12. Ready? Three, two, As y'all can see, I'm not stopping the camera. Like, I'm going to keep it going. Like, and this is the third lash, and it already looks so cute. Yeah, that's so cute. So, the next length is going to be 10. Ready? 3, 2, done. This is too easy. Too easy. Okay. Okay, so the next and last length will be 8mm, so we're going to take one of the 8mm's. You can see, so I've been just plicking, plucking them off with my tweezers. Mirror at the ready. Three, two, go. Done. And that is one eye all done. Super simple, super cute. Yeah. It's so like light and like, you know, you can barely feel it. You can't even feel it at all, honestly. It just feels like my lashes. And it'll feel even better when I put the seal on because it is still a little tacky from the bond. But once the seal goes on, it is game time. You can wear these for about seven days. And I'm a crazy sleeper, so I can sleep wild and these lashes will stay on, okay? So as you can see, this is pretty beginner friendly. Like, took five seconds to apply each, each cluster. Um, all you have to do is just make sure you apply enough bond, not too much, but enough, so that the, la the cluster sticks and it's easy, simple. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. The last and final step, which is the lash seal. Well, this part, a lot of you could do it a lot of different ways, but I'm going to show you how I do it. And it's basically just me taking the seal. The applicator will usually look something like this. I take the kind of like angle tweezers, and the reason why I like to do this is because I like to clamp my my lash my lash clusters and my lashes together with the seal because it's just easier that way rather than just like placing it on there and then that way your lashes don't get super clumpy and hard and crunchy it's just, it's just a lot easier so i'll take the seal and i'll kind of just like sandwich it in between the tweezers like that and then i'll just kind of like pull at my eye a little bit place the tweezers on top and below and I kind of just lightly and gently just squeeze together until I get all the way across and then that's done that's it it's sealed signed sealed delivered that's it and then even sometimes I'll go in the inner corner but after you apply the seal you shouldn't feel any more tackiness it should be stuck on there you know what I mean to the other side boom everything is sealed and that is pretty much it boom it should take you no more than five seconds to plop 
each cluster on your eye after applying the bond. It should feel super weightless. It shouldn't really feel like anything's on your eye. It shouldn't feel like anything's on your eye at all. And it comes out super cute. And you can add as many clusters as you want. You can stack them even if you like. Um, I personally like to stack them sometimes. But this is real beginner friendly. This is keeping it cute vibe. Um, and yeah. if you found this helpful share this with a friend or share it with anybody that you know is thinking about trying clusters for the first time show them this video and hopefully it helps them too make sure you guys leave a like comment and subscribe to my channel and also thank you again Vase beauty for sending over these clusters so i can show a very beginner friendly diy of how to apply your lash clusters and make sure you shop with Vez beauty and get your lash clusters so we can be twins out here they have a bunch of different lash clusters for you to choose from and you can find your vibe and find your style and that's it for today i'll see you guys next time